I have tried what you just suggested, refreshed my license and it's still not working. What else can I do? I apologize for the inconvenience you're experiencing with Copilot in Outlook. Let's explore a few additional troubleshooting steps to get it working. Clear Outlook cache. Sometimes cache data can cause issues. Try clearing the cache. Close Outlook completely. Press Windows plus R, type percent local app data percent backslash Microsoft backslash Outlook and hit enter. Hello guys, I am so happy to see the magics that Copilot can do with troubleshooting Microsoft 365 issues. The life of a support engineer or an administrator has never been easier than what we have today. If you are using Edge browser, congratulations because you can troubleshoot 90% of your issues without jumping from one browser to the other. So let's start it this way. Um, if you are on Edge browser, of course, there is Copilot down here. Once you just click on it, it just comes up this way. I want us to look at a very common issue with Copilot not showing up in M365. When you have um, Copilot license, you go to your M365 Outlook, you do not see Copilot there for you to use to summarize your email to write your email to you know to do stuff around um, um, Outlook and then maybe you have the pro license and then it's not working for you in your live account or something and then you just come to copilot copilot not appearing in my Outlook application and then let's keep our fingers crossed if you're missing the Copilot button in your Outlook application, let's troubleshoot and get it sorted out. Here are some steps to help you find and enable Copilot. Check your account. Ensure that you're signed into your Microsoft 365 apps with an account that has a Copilot license. For home users, this means having a Microsoft 365 personal or family subscription along with Copilot Pro. For business users, you should have a Microsoft 365 Business Standard, Business Premium E3, or E5 subscription along with Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365. File location. If you have multiple file locations such as Business OneDrive and Personal OneDrive, Copilot will only appear if the file you have open is saved to the location associated with your Copilot subscription. For example, if you have Copilot through your work account but not through your personal account, and you open a file from your personal OneDrive, Copilot won't work with that file. Unsaved files or files on your local hard drive must be associated with the primary account shown at the top of the Microsoft 365 window, which should be licensed for Copilot. Note that Copilot in Excel requires autosave to be turned on, meaning the file must be saved to OneDrive. It doesn't work with unsaved files. Refresh your license. If the issue persists, try refreshing your license. In any Microsoft 365 app, go to File Account. Select Update License. Close and restart all Microsoft 365 apps you might have opened to allow the license refresh to take effect. Remember that Copilot in Outlook currently supports work or school accounts, as well as Microsoft accounts using Outlook.com, Hotmail.com, Live.com, and MSN.com email addresses. If you're using an account from a third-party email provider like Gmail, Yahoo, or iCloud, Outlook will work, but you won't have access to Copilot features in it. Give these steps a try and hopefully Copilot will be back in action in your Outlook. Hmm. Can you believe that this is free of charge so long you have the Edge browser? Let's say these steps did not work for me. I've tried to refresh my license and do all of this that is recommended and it's not working for me, right? I wanted to dive deeper into the resolution of this issue. I'm going to hit on the microphone again and I'm going to tell it that I have tried what you suggested and it's not working for me. I have tried what you just suggested, refreshed my license and it's still not working. What else can I do? I apologize for the inconvenience you're experiencing with Copilot in Outlook. Let's explore a few additional troubleshooting steps to get it working. Clear Outlook cache. Sometimes cache data can cause issues. Try clearing the cache. Close Outlook completely. Press Windows plus R, type percent local app data percent backslash Microsoft backslash Outlook and hit enter. Delete all files and folders in this directory. Restart Outlook and check if Copilot is now available. Check add-ins. Ensure that the Copilot add-in is enabled. 
In Outlook, go to File Options Add-ins. Look for Copilot or any related add-in. If it's listed, make sure it's enabled. If it's not there, you might need to reinstall Copilot. Update Outlook. Make sure you're using the latest version of Outlook. Sometimes updates include bug fixes. Go to File Office Account Update Options Update Now. Repair Office Installation. If none of the above steps work, consider repairing your office installation. Close all office applications. Go to Control Paneled Programs and Features or Apps and Features. Find Microsoft 365 or Office 365, right-click and choose Change. Select Repair and follow the prompts. Contact Support. If everything else fails, reach out to Microsoft Support. They can provide personalized assistance and troubleshoot further. Remember to restart Outlook after each step to see if Copilot becomes available. I hope one of these solutions resolves the issue for you. If not, don't hesitate to seek professional support from Microsoft. They'll be able to guide you through more advanced troubleshooting steps. I hope you are clapping for Copilot already. Let's tweak it even further and ask it that all this still did not resolve the issue. Let's see if it's going to get tired of more resolution steps. Let's hit it again. All this still did not resolve the issue. Suggest so what else I can still try. I apologize for the inconvenience you're experiencing with Copilot in Outlook. Since the previous steps didn't resolve the issue, let's explore a few more advanced troubleshooting options. Create a new Outlook profile. Sometimes issues are specific to your Outlook profile. Try creating a new profile. Close Outlook. Press Windows plus R, type outlook.exe slash profiles and hit enter. Click add to create a new profile. Follow the prompts and set up your email account. Open Outlook with the new profile and check if Copilot works. Check group policies. If you're using Outlook in a corporate environment, there might be group policies affecting add-ins. Contact your IT department to verify if any policies are blocking Copilot. Safe mode. Start Outlook in safe mode to rule out any conflicts with other add-ins or settings. Close Outlook. Press Windows plus R, type outlook.exe slash safe and hit enter. Test Copilot functionality in safe mode. Reinstall Copilot. Completely uninstall Copilot and then reinstall it. Close all office applications. Go to Control Paneled Programs and Features or Apps and Features. Find Microsoft Copilot or any related entry, right-click and choose Uninstall. Restart your computer. Reinstall Copilot from the official source. Check Event Logs. Look for any relevant error messages in the Windows Event Viewer related to Outlook or Copilot. It might provide clues about what's going wrong. Temporary Profile. Sometimes a corrupted user profile can cause issues. Create a temporary Windows user profile and see if Copilot works there. Create a new user account in Windows. Log in with the new account. Set up Outlook and test Copilot. Third-party software interference. Disable any third-party software that integrates with Outlook, such as antivirus or security tools. Sometimes these can interfere with add-ins. Remember to document any changes you make during troubleshooting, so you can revert them if needed. If none of these steps resolve the issue, I recommend reaching out to Microsoft support for personalized assistance. They'll be able to delve deeper into your specific setup and provide further guidance. I am sure that at this point you would agree with me that Copilot integrated into Microsoft Edge is a wow. If you have not subscribed to this channel, it is time for you to do that. If you have not liked this video, please try and give it a like. Share it with a friend whom you may find this useful and interesting. Thank you very much for sticking to this point. Watch out for the more videos I'll be rolling out. Have a nice day. Peace.